on the Pix 11 News at 6 starts right now. 657 and we hear the word stroke and think it only happens to the elderly. However, it can strike at any age and when it strikes every second counts. Neurosurgeon Dr. Paul Sapphire from Overlook Medical Center is here to share information that could potentially save your life or your loved one's life. Nice to have you here. Thank you. So why do we associate strokes predominantly with the, with the elderly? Well, there certainly are a lot of different risk factors that are mm -hmm. involved. They're what we call modifiable, not modifiable. Certain ones such as age, you know, the older we become, the higher the risk of having a stroke. But certainly anyone at any age is, is subject to having a stroke. Yeah, it's susceptible. And we're seeing that at an earlier and earlier age. And we're talking about women are at higher risk now, too. So how can we recognize a stroke and what should we look out for? It's that, Well, that's the most important thing is recognizing the signs and symptoms of a stroke, okay. whether it be in yourself or your loved one. You know, there's an acronym that we use, FAST, F-A-S-T. Yep. F stands for face, any sort of asymmetry in the face, facial drooping or whatnot arm, any sort of weakness, clumsiness in the arm or the leg or, or funny sensations, mm -hmm. and then speech, the inability to understand or be able to speak clearly, and then time is really recognizing it quickly and acting upon it. Yeah, how much time do you think, or every second counts? Every that. second counts. Every sure. second counts. All right, there is new technology that's out there, so tell us about that. Telestroke? Absolutely. So Telestroke, essentially, in a nutshell, is getting patients in front of a physician in as quick of a time possible. Okay. And it enables us, Telestroke essentially is like a a robot camera wow. mechanism by which the, the physician can remotely evaluate the patient mm -hmm. in real time and do a physical exam yeah. over over a virtual airway. Yeah, basically we have this video here which is sort of a reenactment. So tell us exactly what's happening. Is it just uh, looking at all of those symptoms and making sure the EMTs know exactly what's happening at a that time? Absolutely. So in this particular video, the paramedic is assessing a patient and connecting the patient remotely via the robot uh, telestroke mechanism with the, with the neurologist mm -hmm. who's a evaluating the patient and doing uh, conducting a physical exam and evaluating the patient seeing what what is actually happening that is pretty amazing I mean I just love how technology is just helping us live longer let's talk about new treatments as well what else do we need to know about absolutely so you know in in the uh, in the acute time setting of, uh, of an acute stroke patients are sometimes able to receive what's called intravenous TPA which right. is a clot busting medication it helps dissolve the blood clot that's blocking the blood vessel mm -hmm. and sometimes we can actually go into the blood vessels themselves and perform Form what's called a mechanical embolectomy, reaching in and pulling out that blood clot and uh, restoring blood flow to the brain. Pretty incredible, pretty incredible. That's Thank great. you so much for helping us, you know, talk about stroke, the new technology that's out there, and treating it. Hopefully, you learned something out there so you could save someone's life because every second does count.